Hey, what's up, guys? Maximus Black here. And Nova War. And we're bringing you yet another uh, normal ass normal game sent in by you guys at replays.lifesaglitchtv at gmail.com. Mr. Maximus Black. Yep. Now, I have a couple of ideas for this noise here. You're going to try to get me to go from the ashes into a phoenix? Yes, you, you read my mind. Did I really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, go for All it. Right. We know each other so well. Go for uh, it. I, I don't know what you're going to do for it, but I'll, I'll, right. let you, I'll let you think about it. All right. I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10 on that one. Really? I'm going to give you an 8 out of 10 on that one. Thanks, man. The beginning was good. The end was good. The middle sounded like a dying gremlin. Well, he's in fire, you know, got to... I know, you were, I know you were going for like a hey, pterodactyl it's on, it's noise. it's on the spot, alright? It was pretty good though. Thanks, Like dude. I said, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. <laughs> I will take an Solid. 8 out of 10. Hey, it's Olympics. You know, the, 8 out of the, 10, it's not a bad thing. The French judge gives you a 3, but no, that well, doesn't matter. Whatever. He'll just get sued later on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's game 4. Somehow we still have enough energy to continue this after the amount of casting we've done today. Jeff's gonna have another sip of his energy drink. Monster, hit me up with that uh, collab. That, that uh, kick in yet? No. No, that is just not... And you had a box of Smarties. Like, you should be actually bouncing off the walls. I know. Starting up here in the top left position, we have... Um, uh, uh, Vitalike. Nope. Vitalike. Nope. Vitalik. Vitalik. There you go. Vitalik? Vitalik. There's no E on the end, so it's an ick. All right. And Phoenix. Good job on that. That's what that was. Yeah, the second gonna, one was good. I'm going to go with Vite. All right. Versus Phoenix. Call him, just call him Vitamin, bro. Vitamin? All right. Like the Flintstone vitamins. I'm going to see what vitamins this has uh, in this monster energy drink. Um, I'm going to tell you. Like, 500% of your B12 for the day. And some caffeine. That's that's what you got in there. Here, let me let me do this. You're blind. Here. All right. Uh, let's see here. We have... Oh, it just tells you. It doesn't actually tell you that stuff. Oh, for probably for good reason. Uh, but I, that's that's pretty much it. All it does is they just give you a bunch of sugar, caffeine, and B12. Yep. And that ginseng shit. Some, some of them use ginseng uh, as a thing. I don't know if this does uh, or not. Let's see here. Right there. Oh, no, it does have... Okay. Um, caution. Contains caffeine. Uh, caffeine. So if you ever had a coffee... Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Chill out. Whoa. Chill out, bro. You're gonna kill yourself. Not recommended for children. Nope. Well, that's a step in the right direction. Pregnant or breastfeeding women. Are you pregnant? Nope. Are you breastfeeding? You may not want to have this. Okay. I roleplay. Uh, caffeine sensitive persons. Nope. I'm good. You're good. Uh, not to be mixed with alcohol. You've probably done I've that I've done before. that a few uh, times. Okay. Yeah, how did that go, by the way? An upper and a downer. How did that go for you? Um... Let's not, just you, not great. You have a high and you have a crash, in a very short period of time. No, no, the high usually is pretty long, but the crash is pretty severe. Yeah, yeah. you're just really not feeling great at the end of that. No, you be sour. Okay. Um, do not consume more than a thousand milliliters per day. And what is this? This is Twice. four things. You have two of these. Oh, great! Without dying. Awesome. Uh, did you actually? Speaking of dying, did you hear about the um, Segway? Yeah. Uh, what was what, what? What game was it? Shitty titties. Um. I think it was Diablo. Somebody played 40 hours straight. And died? And died. Well, that's not surprising. I think that happened in World of Warcraft 2 at one point. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you, uh, oh, no, wait, wait, um, EverQuest. EverQuest, that Somebody happened. raged because, this was a long time ago, but somebody raged because there was no end to the game, and so they killed themselves. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's... It's just one of those, you know, those MMO-related games, people who just do marathons and... Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was Diablo. Maybe somebody can correct me, but I've seen it. I, I actually listened to it on the news. Uh, somebody was having a marathon of some game for 40 hours and died on the computer, which is really scary because I've done like 24 hour streams. Like, what 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 do you think would be the reasoning for that? Would it just like you're just extreme tired, or is it after 40 hours? No, you can go longer than that. Is probably he didn't drink any water. Yeah. And he probably had all energy drinks. Yeah, probably. That might have done it. Yeah. So his heart might have given out. Um, he might have had a blood sugar problem. That might have been another one. Yeah. Numerous things happen when you stay awake for that long. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, done, I've done huge gaming marathons before, like 30, 35 hours. And yeah. It sucks, but you don't die Yeah, no. on the other side of it. No, your heart, if your heart's not strong, it, it can sometimes happen. This, this has, um, uh, it is 2,000 milligrams of 
amino thilsophonic acid. I have no idea what that is. Which is taurine, the one that everybody hears about as being a, a part of most energy drinks. Okay. Okay. It does have the ginseng in there. Nice. Two percent ginseng in there. Four hundred milligrams of caffeine. That's aggressive. There. This is this is a little bit of caffeine here. Just a little bit. Um. And then oh, there's your vitamin B three. Oh, sour. He doesn't have. Oh, nice force field there. He doesn't have any uh, energy for. Or, I mean, uh, observer. Oh, he's chrono boosting it out. There it is. All very right. nice. Very nice. Very clutch. Yeah. It's got every vitamin B on the planet. 2, 6, 12, 14, 75. What, what, what's what been happening in StarCraft? Is this a PvP? Yeah, it was basically a turtle fest until right now. Well, great uh, that we filled that then. Yeah, no. it was Nothing major was going on. He tried to proxy there and do a little bit of damage with the DT. But fortunately for Phoenix, he managed to get an observer in the nick of time. And I think now he's probably going to go for that expand, which is still risky. Because in PvP, thanks to Blizzard, uh, if you expand, the other guy doesn't. Uh, chances are... You're gonna die. You're gonna lose. Yeah. Yep, you're, you're gonna lose. Yeah. Uh, the only way that you can really do it and get away with it is if you get it like a War Prism, you do like a double immortal drop, you just keep him at his base sort of thing and buy time till you get enough centuries here. Other guy, otherwise, the guy just one base kills you. Yeah. Which is kind of what we might see here. Yeah, I mean, luckily for um, uh, Vitamin... He, uh, Phoenix doesn't have a giraffe to break four seals or anything like exactly. that. So it's definitely possible that he can survive. But uh, typically in my PvPs, it's, it's usually a race right for giraffes. Like who can yeah. get out the most. Who get, Whoever has the most giraffes in PvP are usually the ones that win. Yep. That's that's pretty much it. Well, that's essentially what it is, uh, unfortunately. But uh, sometimes yeah. you do see creative play with Phoenix and all that great stuff. But it's, uh, it's pretty, pretty It's rare. easier to just go, all right, I'm going to get more Colossi than you. And then go from there. Yep. Then to say, I'm going to have the most god mode Phoenix play. No so Phoenix man. has quite a bit, but once again, we do have century power up this way. So yep. just like you know, a couple of good force fields can definitely turn this around. Oh, he's baiting the force fields. Very nice. I like that. So it's one force field down. He, he he's has, got a few more to go. Where is he going with his units? Okay, there we are. We oh, have an observer down here for for Phoenix, so he's going to be able to uh, scout and see when is going to be the right time to uh, to roll in. Unfortunately, like we said earlier, there still is no Colossus on the field for Phoenix, so uh, he's gonna have to be careful. I mean, you know, he's got a nice army, but if he gets caught, it can turn the it tides be very quickly, especially since uh, Vitamin's got an expand. Yep, and Ooh, it, there's a waste of one force field. One force field wasted, but Phoenix also expanding after uh, after he behind. saw the expanding. He is behind, and obviously. It's halfway done. And but he's doing what he has to do here. Which is sit here until... And there it is. Oh, there's the uh, last force field, but he's still going to be careful about it. He can't just storm the base yet. And there we go. Well, that force field's going to be down, but another oh, one goes up. it's not enough. He needs to get this Immortals to start attacking the Stalkers and not the Zealots. Yep. And this is so not looking good for Vitamin. This is going to be extremely close. Still no Guardian Shield has gone up yet for Phoenix. Be really nice to see one of those. And this Immortal is still attacking Zealots. It's going to be once Guardian again close. Shield. Very nice force field nice. there on that ramp. And he's going to be able to clean this up and deal massive damage to these probes. Here comes a few more Zealots. And uh, and I think Vitamin might be able to hold this off. But at what cost, Adam? <laughs> but at what cost, Adam? Oh, you did it right. Yeah. You finished it properly. Yeah. I know people have probably been <laughs> waiting forever to hear that being used in the cast. Oh. Uh, it's good times. Wow, 18 probe kills. Dude, that, that was a very successful attack, and now Phoenix is more than okay with his expansion back home. He might actually be able to win this game just by warping in units. Or he might be able to win the game if Vitamin just leaves. That yeah, too, that, I mean, that yeah. works. No, totally. Nine times out of ten, it's a very effective way of winning that'll if your opponent leaves. Yeah. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, that'll hurt. We missed that Sorry entirely. That. Welcome to Lag TV. Welcome to Lag TV. It is hard sometimes to see drops on this map with the blue because of the color of the map on the mini-map. Like, can you see the units on the map right now? Barely. Barely. Yeah. And I mean barely. And the this, this reason, hasn't even been processed yet. The only reason is because there's like a white sort of bright over here. Yeah. Well, it's from Vision. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's it's not. You know, sometimes you miss that shit. It's you know, just one of those things. But either way, good job, Phoenix. Phoenix, uh, you know, just making as it is with any mirror matchup. It's just whoever... Uh, makes the more solid decisions, and and uh, Phoenix well, seemed to come out on top there. A couple of bad force fields. That's all. That's all it that's was. All it there. Took. A couple of bad force fields. Um, yeah, and he expanded. I, I, I'm not complaining about the fact he expanded. I mean, somebody's gotta gotta go for it. But yep, you gotta be careful in PvP. You really do because sometimes your opponent will be like, "All right, you expand. I'm going all in." Yep. Good luck. And that's pretty much what happened. Pretty close to it. Pretty close. He just decided to expand there towards the end. I think he. I think in the end, he just really wanted to contain him. 
But uh, he, he was given the opportunity to basically just push the ramp and, and do a lot more damage than he probably thought he did. I don't think he I don't think Phoenix thought that he was going to win the game there. Uh, but uh, he certainly uh, he certainly did as vitamin leaves. So for now, ladies and gentlemen, I guess we're going to wrap that up. That is game four. Halfway done, baby. We're halfway through. Halfway done. Woo! I actually need to have some food before I pass out. So I'll, we'll probably have a small break and then continue. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, Nova War reading the back of energy drink cans. And I'm going to go take a shit in Adam's bathroom. Great. Make sure your feet don't dangle too much. He's got a tall-ass toilet. Pete! Pete!